Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Shortest Trip to Earth. We've got a bit of a bruised chip, but it's nothing major because we've been fighting some uh, crazies. And uh, we are at a station where we can just repair, I suppose. Oh wait, oh, oh we were there. Um, oh. Oh yeah, it's this one. Um, hmm. Well then, we're going here. The ship was partially made of biotech tissue, but seems to be now completely dead and inert. Let's scavenge it. The wreckage was untouched by other looters. Excellent. What do we get? A bioneural stealth decryptor. Interesting. Detect enemy fleets with stealth value of two. Eh. I mean, we can always get uh, ready. Those. I mean, more or less, anyway. Not a huge deal. Why is it so difficult to uh, click on these sta stations? Stations now. A large ship is approaching. Two smaller ones following in the distance. The big one seems to be armed with multiple projectiles, weapons, and nukes. May your cunningness increase, fellow consciousness. Let us trade forms of destruction for mutual profit. Um, interesting music. Reminds me of Star Control 2. Uh, get a hundred explosives, get a hundred explosives for... I uh, get 56 data credits for one exotics. That's really nice. I'm doing that. The data credits are delivered to us in barely functioning ancient data core. Closer inspection reveals that some of the Xeno data is corrupted. The trade remains profitable. Yeah, it does, but... Ugh. All right, let's uh, repair the ship. Transport engine... Med bay, which we already have. Do it yourself. Multi-container. Ooh. Yeah, this uh, looks interesting now. So this is... Oh, this is fuel, metal, and explosives. Hmm. It would be just nicer to get some really big container. Synthetic gray... Uh, synthetics cooker. Uh... Consumed per minute. Jeez. Tech artifact. Damaged warp drive. Damaged but partially functional warp drive. Hmm. That's not very good. I mean, three energy for just two evasion? No. Biotech artifact. Asteroid predictor. That's really good, actually. But, eh. Tech artifact. Engine booster. Try sleep and explosive storage large. Now that's what I'm talking about. But um, we don't have any storages which would be just explosives. So that's kind of pointless. Wait a second. Do we have any containers that have exotics in them apart from this single one? No. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame to have just an exotics container here. Oh well. Let's repair all the damage. Please stand by. Alright, so they have some star fuel which we could buy. Organics 1 to 1. It's not bad. Explosives 2 to 2. It's pretty good actually. Exotics. And all of this stuff is 1 to 1, so we can sell some. Huh. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, so we've got this thing, which I don't know what it is. Inhabited planet. Primitives. That's primitives? We've discovered and contacted a civilization of industrial era invertebrates, the Krabians. They live in a highly ritualized society and requi a request we send an ambassador to participate in their ritual of poisons. Our crew is well protected. Send one. Okay, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Our ambassador participates in the ritual, wearing the full environment suit, letting it analyze all poisons given to her for playing or consuming. Turns out the locals are pretty frail. The strongest poison involved in the ritual is alcohol with the strength of a mild beer. Most of the local participants end up unconscious on the floor. Steal stuff from the... <laughs> the locals tell uh, that surviving the poison means you are part of the good guys. The creatures are more relaxed now and you can engage in cultural and scientific exchange. Our knowledge and a few uh, samples of advanced materials are super valuable to them. They gift us cargo train full of metal uh, and food in return. That's not bad, actually. That's a lot of stuff we got. Nice. 
Drinking booze. <laughs> well, let's see. So let's go to gay one. And we don't really detect anything there. Bloody hell is it far away. It, there could be stealthy fleets there. Nope, oh, nothing for the moment. In fact, there's nothing at all here. So I don't think I'm gonna... Okay, let's, let's just go over here and if there's nothing... Yeah, let's just keep going. I'm also not going to eel SD because I would just be wasting fuel most likely. I mean, there might be good stuff there, of course, but let's go to Aru, which is really far away. <clears throat> right, let's go there first. Uh-oh. Okay. Time to put things up again. Load the combat profile. So what do we have? Custom ship. Integrity. Planet has a lone ship service station specialized in building custom integrity modules from recycled local materials. The service includes free food. Custom integrity made module. I, I don't know what it, how much it does. And, and you know, this I'm not going to waste 200 credits on that. We detect two small ships rapidly approaching tactical weapons range. They broadcast a religious pilgrim's identity signal in affiliation with the insectoid alliance. <laughs> Alien vessel, you have trespassed the holy emptiness of our religious space. We must purify your soul with healing crystals. If we cannot purify you, you are corrupted and we will have to destroy you. Praise the religion. Five exotics? No. I'm not giving you anything for your stupid stuff. Another small ship joins the enemy. Good, so now there's three. Okay, so this one, they only seem to have the war prey effectors, which are very dangerous, and they never deflect. And this one has more. Okay, this one's not much of a problem. So I am going to go for, well, it doesn't matter. Let's go for this one first. I should have built nukes. So go, go, go. Actually, I can build them in the meantime. Uh, organics. Do it yourself. Corrosion nuke. Let's do two of them. Alright. Come on. Okay, that's now ready. Go. Wow, that's... That's a nasty looking thing. Yeah, they're actually not doing that much damage to us. I don't think they will be able to get through our shields before we destroy them. That's pretty good. One of the ships is charging up. Ah, uh, they'll be dead. Fuel optimizer engine. Warp drive. Yeah, they're not gonna... They're not gonna get away in time. There we go, perfect. Let's go for the next one. No, no, no! no it, ah, I didn't want to use a nuke. Ah, pfft. Oh, oh, well. Boom! Oh well, that was a bit of a waste, but okay. Ow. Probably should have gone for these guys because uh, they can actually go through my shields. Ow! And they're about to be destroyed. Excellent. Let's go for these ones. Alright. Ooh, nice. Excellent. There's the biotech reactor damaged. They're out of... Oh, we destroyed it completely. Now oh, that's damaged. So they don't have any power there. But it doesn't matter because they are about to get destroyed. <laughs> now they have zero reactors. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. How did we destroy them so quickly? That was pretty interesting. Yeah. Our utility bots have salvaged all resources left on the battlefield. There you go. Enjoy your religion. Whoa! That is a lot of stuff, actually. Whoa! Fuel optimizer engine. That is a lot of... Woo! So this uses less fuel, but gives us less of everything else. Yeah, see, we never can find a better thing. A brass shield generator, another one. 
It is very fast in uh, replenishing the shields. Very fast, but it takes so much energy. <sighs> I get rid of this. Wait, shield batteries. I'm gonna store this for now. And an insectoid double laser, old tech. That's not very good at all. I mean, it's pretty fast, actually. Hmm. See, compared to this, uh, this will fire three times when this will just fire once. I mean, you know, ignoring the uh, having people on there. It's pretty much the same accuracy. And it does, it would technically do six times one damage then. And those, you know, in those times. Now, the difference is, of course, this has the ship asteroid defense bonus. And this uses less energy. But here's the thing. If this fires once in 12 seconds and everything gets deflected, this is a better chance because maybe only two of these will get deflected. So I think I'm actually going to get this instead of that. Or maybe instead of the MP ray gun. But it does deal a lot of shield damage, which I do like. It's got a very low damage afterwards, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to replace the mining laser, even though it's a very good piece of tech. So let me, let me first put these things in where they should be. And then... I still have this long-range sensor. Oh, yeah. You know, I'll just grab the long range sensor. And we're going to store this because I kind of like that. I'm going to place it here. That's a pretty nice looking thing. So now, with the energy, we've got three extra energy. Well, four, including this, which gets replaced. So in essence... Hmm... Well, I mean, if I want to be crazy, in combat, I could replace this Grewery with this and in the integrity scales, and then place a brass shield instead of some of the mini Greweries, but of course, and, you know, then also a power generator here instead of the Shroomery. I mean, that's, that's a lot of stuff to, to work on. Oh, what the heck? Oh, because our uh, sensors came online. Okay. There we go. Now we got some extra stuff. Let's uh, repair some of the holes. There we go. I think that's going to be fine. Or maybe we're going to be just over. Yep. Just use it then. Yeah. And we're going to convert all this rest into fuel. 25. Well, let's go check out the uh, large rock. It is a large asteroid comprised mostly of the rare mithralium mineral. Processing the substance would be an energy intensive undertaking. How's it do so? Operation completed without incidents. Good, so now we have excess stuff which we don't need. <laughs> and we've used fuel which we do need. That's, uh, that's always a good thing. Oh, good. And we cannot actually. You know what? Let's craft a nuke. One of these corrosion ones. There we go. And we still have access. Alright. Off we go to the civilian modules and repair. Warp drive grade 3. Less fuel. More energy. Eh, it's about the same, but uses more energy. Terran military engine. Uses a... What the heck? Uses a lot of fuel, more energy, but it does have more of everything. Eh. Explosive combinator, ultranite energy reactor. Ooh, 17. Very expensive, though. <clears throat> Very expensive. That could be instead of one of these cooled ion reactors. This is 15, this is 15, and this is 13. That's, um... Yeah. I'm going to scrap this. Store this. And actually buy this thing, probably. Shield generator. Another one. Wow, that's very fast and a lot of shield points. 
Oh, not enough credits. What? Oh, no, not enough storage, you mean. But I have this here available. Alright, fine. And put this here. And now we can buy this thing. And put it here. And we have lots more energy available. And there's a biotech reactor as well. And an advanced science lab. Ah, a very efficient and powerful lab for scientific research. Crew scientist labs generate xenodata during ship movement. Why is it so advanced? It's... Well, it's plus two per 100. So basically one person can do the job of two, but that's not much of an improvement. All right, let's, so let's compare these generators now. Oh, this has a lot less energy consumed, is only slightly slower than this, but it gives you more shield. Huh. I might want to buy this shield generator. I don't know. Let's uh, repair everything first. And then sell the stuff. Sell some organics. Sell some metals. Sell some synthetics. Also got a big brain guy, Death Blip. <laughs> right. Um, hmm. So in wartime, I will have... I will have this, and then I want to have this thing. You know what's a funny thing? The slower the generator, the more effective people on it are, because it's percentage-based. So I'm assuming it's percentage of this, of course. That's kind of funny, actually. So the, the worse it is, the 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 more it gets from people actually working on it. I suppose that's that's kinda kinda good because the better it is then you don't need to spend, you know, crew members actually operating them. So if I was to, for example, do this then I still have enough energy. Jeez. I have that much energy? This is brilliant. Wow. Look at that. That's really brilliant. And if I were to put another energy reactor here in combat, I could also put this shield generator here. That's pretty good. I might actually want to buy this thing. So if I were to put a generator here then, and then do it like this for combat, I still have some shield batteries, which are very hungry. Um, yeah. And I'm just going to get this multi-container here. Wait a second. What? This multi-container has exotics. Why don't I just do this? I mean, it's not that many exotics, but yeah, that's pretty good. So let's get rid of this exotics container. There. And now I can buy this shield. Because I have more than enough. Look at that. 67 shield. Obviously, that's not going to help us against stuff that goes through the shields. But, man. This is really good. Okay, so let's put these back into place. Because it's... Uh, peace time. But, look, th this is all the stuff I'll have to do. And remember... To do when uh before we fight <laughs> that's pretty good though i i think i like that a lot so let's sell some organics even though it's not the best price there so we don't have to dump them okay excellent uh well i got despite the fact that there are, we have so much less maximum hp now than before i have a, more hope now especially because of this insane amount of uh shields will have and also you gotta remember with two <laughs> i mean now we have two generators and with two extra generators we'll be replenishing a lot almost one shield per second 
I mean, that's a lot. Of course, if they if they destroy our shields, uh, I mean, they take away our, all our shields, everything gets EMP'd still. And, you know, that's not going to help a lot. And if they do have weapons that ignore shields, like projectile weapons, that's not going to help much either. But this is pretty nice against energy weapons. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Hopefully you're enjoying this despite my rants and stuff. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.